Uh, yeah, guys, uh, welcome. Uh, so yeah, it's a very different tool for us in the fact that uh, we haven't got a, uh, a pure sprinter here this year. And we've been a team that's obviously chased, uh, been opportunists over the last five or six years and uh, we've got a little bit different goal. It's the first time we've really come to uh, the Tour de France uh, with GC as a focus for us and, and a sole focus. Not to say that we won't be looking for stages throughout the next couple of weeks, but uh, it's, it's very different and it it'll, it'll, will affect the way we race uh, over the three weeks because uh, yeah, it's when you're not looking for those sprint stages, it changes a lot of uh, a lot of those days. Uh, and yeah, as you've know, with the parkour this year, there is a lot of flat days this year, uh, and we'll be looking at sort of conserving our energy and looking for days that uh, that matter for our GC guys and our climbers on those days. So that's that's all I need to explain at the start, and I'm sure the other guys will be able to answer the the rest for our goals. Perfect. Who wants to kick us off? Yeah. Siempre he sido o qué significa para usted correr su primer Tour de Francia luego de haber estado ya en Vuelta y en el Giro de Italia. Bueno, para mí es es un sueño, profe, estar en el en el Tour de Francia es bastante emocionante y y ya se siente que que es algo muy grande. Es eh, todo nació cuando estaba sentado en el en el sofá con con mi papá y, y yo me enamoré del ciclismo viendo esta carrera, así que es un sueño que se hace realidad y, y para mí estar en la línea de partida es, es ya un triunfo. So for being me as the first to the France is like one dream. I everything started in my car with my dad sitting in the coach and looking at the Tour de France and is where I'm in love in this sport so start in this Tour de France is one victory for me. Esteban, ¿qué tal? Fernando Calle, la radio Caracol. El no correr en esta temporada, eh, correr poco, bueno, debido a tu tendinitis, ¿espera la primera semana para empezar a correr ritmo, Esteban? Uh, eh, he, cor he corrido, corrido Finé, corrido en Australia, ahí sí tuve algunos percances con, con la rodilla, pero ese es el camino que tuve que, que, tuve que hacer. Algunos corredores hicieron... País Vasco, Cataluña, otros hicieron Romandía, otros hicieron Suiza y el camino que me tocó a mí fue este y, y estamos preparados y, y vamos a dar lo mejor de, de nosotros y no solo de mí sino del equipo. So, eh, for me no one normal season, but I race at the Dauphine, I race also in Australia. All riders have different ways. Some riders did Catalonia, another ones did uh, Basque Country or Romandy or Swiss or Dauphine. So this is the way I have here, and we are we are ready for this. Not just Esteban, all the team. Sí, somos siete los colombianos. Es Es, es bonito que empecemos siete colombianos en, en un tour de Francia, es, es bastante impresionante y el mensaje para los colombianos es que nos apoyen y como siempre les digo que crean en los sueños. So it's really, it's really good we start with seven riders here, the Colombians, and yeah, one message for the Colombians is support us and believe in the dreams. Mr. Mom, what, what can you do at this tour? Is it a journey into the unknown for you? I mean, what's a realistic goal? Well, first one is enjoy, mm -hmm. have fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and after that, it's no one secret. We have two contenders here, really good for the GC, JC and me. JC also go for the white jersey. And we will try to do the best one for that. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> 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 Continuing on with that, uh, it's about. Um, you made great form at the start of the year in Australia, so you just threw it under and uh, take a little time to it. Um, and then obviously, la uh, no racing until uh, Dwarf and Age two weeks ago. How, how is the form right now? Mm -hmm. Are you missing three months? Are you okay? Oh, this is a good question. <laughs> <laughs> And in Dauphine is a really big shock. After eight months, I got race in Europe since Lombardy. So everything is, is a little bit shock, but I'm really happy for back at race, especially in Europe. And also it's one shock because I never did some races in France. I never did 
something that I never did first knees, I never did to the front, so all this is, is really <coughs> for me. And I feel good, I feel happy, and I say to family that please one is enjoy and have fun. Andy? Yeah, question for Matt. Uh, this year's course, the way it's designed, which is kind of a three mountain top finishes, and not really many uh, time trials. How is it going to affect the dynamics of the race? Do you think it's going to be all controlled until a couple of big days, or is it going to be maybe a little bit different than the pace? You know, I think uh, in the end, it will probably be one of the tightest Tour de France's uh, for general classification we've seen in a long time. Uh, because I don't think there's too many opportunities for the GC guys to really uh, make a difference. So when they do make a difference, it, it'll be a big one. So I think, yeah, the first, the first nine or ten days of the Tour, we'll see a lot of the contenders. Just, uh, we've got a couple of little forays into the mountains and you know, stage five and stage three, stage five, uphill finishes. Uh, then when we get to the the Alps, the first, the first test there. I think uh, there's a really tough stage. Uh, we looked at the second half of it in, uh, in the Dolphin uh, and that's, that's when I think we're going to see the first big selection uh, for the guys. But uh, yeah, it's an interesting course because the organisers have obviously put the, a lot of the hard climbs between 15 and 40 kilometres from the finish, so it's going to create some entertaining racing probably a little bit earlier and less, time, less arriving on the climbs. So, People will make the sense will come into the factor which uh, usually don't uh, come in as much, and then we there'll be some interesting tactics over the next three weeks. That's for sure. Simon, um, I've got to ask. One white jersey in the family isn't enough, is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can't allow that, surely. Um. Well. Not. Um. Well, yeah. No, I've, I've been training my brother uh, up in Andorra before this, and, and and also earlier in the year, so. You know, I've seen kind of seen the, the hard work go in from, from the last year when he when he won the jersey there and you know, I'm you know, that's what we're here for and trying to replicate that. Of course it's gonna be difficult, there's a lot of, you know, faster and guys these days, so but yeah, I give it the best shot. Do you have any advice for you about that specific goal? <sighs> about that no, no. Because I think it, it's very difficult to you know <coughs> when you're in a race and you're in a very stressful situation or, or, or you know, it's very hard to you know, show that to someone, describe that to someone, because it's very different in the, you know, in the, to a different race from a different race. It's, you know, it's the same like when, um, my, I think it was 2015, me and Adam first did, first did the tour together, and I was thinking of ways to give them advice there, but it, it's really difficult when you're not there in the, you know, in the moment. Um, but of course, I'm sure they'll be encouraging me from the, from the sofa. <laughs> Everyone was talking about having fun, and when we spoke about having fun, you were serving my house. What, what, what's it like to ride with this guy? And how are the two of you going to work together? Did you have fun riding together? Yeah, I think so. I think so. And you, I think you just, it's not very far away, really. The, the world of last year, we had a great relationship there. We, you know, we raced real well. Not just me, I but the whole team, you know, and the, also not just the guys here, but the, the wider team. We, we like to have fun, we like to race bikes, and I, I think. It really goes a long way to ease the pressure, the stress of racing. You know, I guess when you're growing up, when you were younger, you know, you wanted to have fun, you wanted to race bikes, and I think I think that's what we're doing. Whitey, uh, uh, you've spoken a lot about protecting those two guys for the general classification, so you've got some options for stage wins as well, particularly with the three down the end there. How much freedom will they get to hunt for their own stage wins? Or is it all in looking out for those for the general question? I just second it down the end there, sir. Now look, it is a big focus general classification, but it's a long tour. It's a long tour. So yeah, when there's opportunities, uh, the guys will have the opportunity to take them. So obviously not going. We've got some stages identified that we can go after, but uh, it'll be. Uh, you know, we're not coming here with the same same pressure as, as Sky or Movie Star. To, to get that same result. You now we're coming here with guys who, have, that's it, it's Simon's first attempt at riding general classification of Tour de France, it's Esteban's first Tour de France. So we have a different pressure, uh, and uh, that's to our advantage because we, we can't afford to go on the hunt for stages at times. How will you define success in this tour? I think if everyone puts in 100% and, uh, and really chase our goals to the maximum, then uh, we're going to be very close to the mark where we want to achieve. And, and we've got some different goals. But as far as specific, we'd obviously, yeah, we'd like someone in the top ten. Uh, we're going to support Yatey as, as good as we can to chase that white jersey all the way to Paris. And uh, we're going to see with Esteban as well. Well, that's it. He's had a very interrupted year, but he's here. He's had a really good couple of months under the belt now, and we're going to give it 100% to support him as well.
So are they, and ask it. I know you're here for the greater goal that's been discussed, but have you got one eye on Saturday, the risk of putting you on the spot? Uh, I think uh, when it comes to stage one, Tour de France, Prolog, um, I think everyone in the whole table will be given 100%, um, and I think that's with everyone on the start line. Uh, for me, with being in time trial background, I would say, yeah, for sure, I'm going to give it 100% and go for it. So there's definitely no, like, okay, save yourself today because we've got tomorrow. Uh, maybe during later down the race, if there's a later time trial, maybe that's the case. But for tomorrow, go all in, uh, Saturday, go all in, give it a good chance, and uh, it's a big show. So why not have a go for it? Can you diplomatically say, perhaps in a way that you, where do you rate your chances of winning on <laughs> Saturday? <laughs> it's, it's been a while since I won a big, big prologue. Uh, I had a time trial win this year, but it's been a while. So, uh, but hey, I'm going to go in there. I, I can't, I think with a time trial, you can't be like this throughout the whole Tour de France. You can't go even the best time trials, you know, maybe less missing Roland Dennis here. But other than that, no one's really going in as a clear favourite. It's quite open. So, uh, yeah. Who knows, hopefully you uh, get that day. Maybe a uh, tailwind and then the wind change. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but go, go full gas and uh, hey, who knows, roll the dice and we'll see. Any more? Bruce? Uh, Bruce, Dave Bruce, Bruce, um, your first tour de France, but also <coughs> you've gelled really well with Esteban. Um, just how are you, how are you feeling uh, about your first tour, but also how are you going to better work for Esteban? Yeah, I'm obviously really excited. I think uh, I'm going to treat this Grand Tour like I have the past three. Like uh, Simon said, it's just a relationship that all of us riders on the team and not just this direct team have, but the, the full team. And I'm really excited to be a part of something really special in this Tour de France. It, it, with, with the Grand Tours you've done, though, you've, you've de developed a lot with your ability in the mountains and in that communication with Esteban. Um, uh, can you explain, elaborate a bit more about that? Yeah, um, it's something that each race that we do together, um, you can continue to learn and grow as a as a bit of a partnership. And uh, yeah, as long as I keep progressing progressing in uh, in that direction, and Esteban uh, can continue to to grow also. Um, yeah, that's that's my aim, and I'll continue to do that. Yeah, look, I think uh, the big value Roman adds, and the big one of the big reasons we brought him to the team is, is his experience. Uh, when you when you surround him with two guys in their first tour for general classification, his knowledge uh, and experience, he's been on teams that have won Grand Tours before, so it's that's going to be the, the most valuable part of having Roman around. Roman's around. He's been in pressure situations, uh, whether with Alberto Contador and other teams. Like you said, he's a few top tens himself, fifth in the Giro. Uh, but yeah, he's coming in primarily as as a working role, that's for sure. time that I'm riding for the general here. Um, for coming to the other tours, you know, very <coughs> different uh, preparation. My first tour, I didn't have much time to prepare, prepare at all. So, and the second tour, yeah, okay, we're coming here for stages and, you know, I was trying to get the breakaway, so, you know, it was very different. Um, so, to go back to your question, mistakes, it's hard to say, I think. I always say it's about the grand tours, but really knowing when to save energy, but this is not just in the Grand Tour, this is just, you know, the, my sort of whole career, you know. I'm uh, quite an excited rider sometimes and I waste a lot of energy in the bunch. So I think one of the most important things, especially going for GC, is knowing when to save energy. And uh, yeah, hopefully I can, I can try and save as much as possible until it matters. <laughs>